showing, we're showing. In this one, we're showing this same thing with a gas valve and all the rest. Now, notice the thermostat's open here. But we've added a little something. We have our heat-operated fan switch. But we've also got another fan switch, and I'm calling it fan switch R1. And we've got fan relay R1 down here. The idea behind making this R1 is so that I can tell that this coil of this relay actuates this fan switch. So you'll have things in the uh, schematic that are far separated. Notice this one's in the 24 volt down here because we've got the 24 volt circuit and this switch which is on the same part is actually in the high voltage. Schematics are going to do this. this is, their schematics are telling you how it works. So we have to have high voltage as we have here and low voltage as we have here. And in this case, if this fan relay is energized by closing this fan switch, it's going to close this set of contacts and start the fan motor. Okay, in this one, we have closed this manual fan switch down here, which the power is passed through an energized fan relay, R1. When fan relay R1 is energized, then fan switch R1 is closed. Notice I've closed these contacts. Then the power passes through here and up to energize the fan motor. So I don't need the heat operated fits switch to start the fan motor. Very simple.